Yo, what up, guys? This is your boy Kofi with KO Sports Talk back out with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over uh, the Chicago Bears versus Cincinnati Bengals uh, preview. And I'm going to go over three key things uh, that I'm going to look out for for uh, the Chicago Bears specifically in this preseason game. But before we start this video, guys, make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to hit that notification bell so you can get the latest and greatest in regards to Chicago Bears news. But let's dive into this video. I just want to make this video real quick because I don't have too much time. Uh, so on Thursday, yesterday, we already know the starters are going to play. Matt Eberflus announced yesterday that Caleb Williams and the starters will play. He didn't talk specifically when, what, when they're going to play, like how long they're going to play. But I'm pretty much assuming they're going to play for at least a quarter, you know. But uh, I know tomorrow they said it might likely rain. So depending on the situation, uh, he might let them play for maybe one series, one drive um, at the most, you know, if depending on, on the weather situation. But I want to talk about the three key things that I'm going to be looking out for for this game, specifically with the Chicago Bears. Uh, for one, I'm looking for the offense to score a touchdown this game. The Cincinnati Bengals head coach, Zach Taylor, he announced that the starters won't play um, because I, I definitely get it. Joe Burrow is more established. He doesn't want any type of injury to come onto this team. <laughs> You know, with Caleb Williams being a rookie, he needs all the reps that he can get. But I am looking for this Chicago Bears offense to drive down the field, specifically with the twos and the threes, to just drive down and get a touchdown. You know, you know, specifically like with Shane Waldron, you know how Shane Waldron, he wants to push the ball downfield. He wants to make sure that Caleb He's going through his progressions, going through his cadences that he's able to read specifically what the defense is giving him, dissecting defensive coverages. Um, if they're a, a, a two, two wide zone, um, if they're running a cover two, a cover zero. Um, I'm not too sure specifically what the Cincinnati Bengals play. I heard they run like a three, four defense as opposed to what the Buffalo Bengals run. But I know they, they kind of rush three. And then they uh, have like a back four, which does coverage. But I know they're not going to show too much. But that's one thing I'm also looking for. I'm, I'm looking for the Chicago Bears offense to go down the field and score a touchdown. The second thing I'm looking for is continuity with the offensive line. I know um, Nate Davis, he's been practicing the last couple of days. You know, he's been relatively um, healthy the last couple of days. But – what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the offensive line to be more a cohesive unit because pretty much throughout the whole entire training camp, there hasn't been enough continuity with the offensive line. We've been dealing with, you know, lots of penalties, injuries, and um, of the things of whatnot. But uh, that's the second thing I'm looking for. I'm looking for this offense. I want to see how this offensive line is going to do. I know Darnell Wright, he did not have a good game last week. He played terribly. Um, I know he didn't give up too many pressures, but his PFF grade was not really that great. Um, he almost gave up a sack, but that's neither here nor there. But specifically, I am looking for more um, a cohesive unit for this offensive line to see how they're going to do this game. The third thing, now I'm also looking for is Javon Dexter. I want to see how Javon Dexter is going to play with the second and the third string. I know Javon Dexter, he was all right, specifically in the run game, but I'm more looking more specifically for him to get to the quarterback because I know this season, Javon Dexter, he has lost some weight, and that's a little bit concerning for me. Specifically with Javon Dexter, you don't want to make sure that he just gets pushed around or or like whatnot. Um, you want to make sure that he is getting to the quarterback. I know that he did lose some some weight, but um, I just want to see. I hope it doesn't, you know, um, stunt his his strength. 
because I want him to make sure that he's able to keep his strength because when you're going up against that offensive line, a lot of those guys are pretty strong, but you also want to make sure you keep up with them and uh, make sure that you uh, keep your strength up so you can be able to put pressure on the quarterback because that middle side, that middle side, not the A gap and the B gap, but that middle side, that's the most important thing. That's where a lot of the pressure comes up at. And so I want to make sure that Javon Dexter is able to get a lot of pressure up the middle because the coaching staff is really depending on him to make an impact on the three tech, uh, the three, the three tech technique uh, position. And so that's one thing I'm really looking for uh, to, for uh, in regards to uh, Javon Dexter, this upcoming game. But so far, guys, that's all that I have for today, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to hit that notification bell. Guys, as always, this is your boy Kofi. Chicago up, bear down. All right, peace. I'm out. That's why I'm trying to make a better way. Whole new crib in a better place. Get my people out the hood. We'll see better days. Tell a fan sorry y'all left.